officers attacking and tackling a teenager for filming them. Hey, stop. Hey, hey, don't move. Don't move. To a suspect paralyzed by taser. You got your bit. Get on the ground. Go. These cops' aggression is outrageous. Disclaimer. On a seemingly peaceful movie night sponsored by the Harbor City Council and the LAPD, the calm atmosphere quickly turned chaotic. Officers, apparently in need of a little excitement, decided to harass some young attendees. This particular young man, who was actually helping out at the event, noticed the police's overzealous behavior and decided to do what any concerned citizen would do. He started filming. The officer descended upon the kid with an intensity that seemed more suited for a high-stakes action movie. Hey, Listen, it's okay. Hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. The officer was on top of the teenager, who by this time was probably wishing he'd opted for a night of Netflix at home instead. And how barbarically the officers treated the young man is enough to make you sick. We are filming it. What am I being? Oh, that's ridiculous. What am I being? Your head I am. What am I being detained for? What am I being detained for? Listen, he ain't doing nothing but putting his shoes on. He ain't doing nothing but putting his shoes on. I don't care. I don't care what you doing. The officers, instead of maintaining peace and order, seemed more interested in creating chaos and asserting dominance. What am I being detained for? That's fine. Do whatever you gotta do. What am I being detained for? Step my being detained. Step yours, dude. Are you gonna get tased? What? What am I being detained for? He's scared. Hey, don't do that. Are you gonna get tased? This is your warning. What am I being detained for? What am I being detained for? He ain't doing nothing. Come out here and slam them youngsters down like that. Sir, sir, we're dealing with something. You're dealing with what? Hey, listen. Just calm down. Just calm down. Just calm down. Just calm down. His bail was set at a staggering $25,000, a sum that would make anyone wonder if the police thought he was a high-profile mob boss rather than a community volunteer. Filming the police is not a crime, and these cops were way out of line. However, this next case turned it up a notch when dirty cops did this to a suspect. Stop resisting. But first, on May 16, 2022, in Colorado Springs, a foot chase turned tragic, and the cops found themselves in the hot seat again. Officer Robert Comstock parked at a come-and-go gas station to catch Jacob Root. Root, a suspected car thief, was running for his life when Officer Comstock decided it was taser time. Comstock, apparently feeling like a cowboy in an old western, whipped out his taser and aimed it at the fleeing Root. Get on the ground! Get on! Please, canine, stop! Please, canine, stop! You're gonna get bit! You're gonna get bit! Get on the ground! Root, hit by the taser, crashed to the pavement. The impact was catastrophic. He broke his neck and ended up paralyzed. Get your hands out! Get your hands out! Get your hands out! Get your, Get your hands out! I got I got K9A, can you get uh, medical started? Oh, oh, oh. Now, Jacob Root, understandably not feeling too forgiving, is suing for a cool $100 million, arguing that Comstock's actions were reckless and a clear violation of use of force policies. Predictably, the police circled the wagons. They claimed Root had hit a police car with a stolen vehicle earlier that day, but even that didn't justify Comstock's actions. All right, can you put me over here? We will. Give us one second. You got probes in your back? 
so we can't flip you all the way on your back, okay? Okay. I'm gonna flip you on your left side. Okay. Don't try and pull away, okay? According to department policy, the taser should have been used in an elevated position, and a warning should have been given. Comstock did neither. Comstock had ignored all safety protocols. The department conducted an internal affairs investigation, and surprise, surprise, Comstock was exonerated. There was no policy violation or wrongdoing, just another day in the life of police oversight. No. I got him. Oh my god. I got him. Yeah, I'm dying, huh? Yeah. <laughs> This lawsuit shines a glaring light on the discrepancy between policy and practice. On paper, there were clear guidelines to prevent exactly this kind of tragedy. In reality, those guidelines are easy to ignore, and Jacob Root paid the price. Now we go to Pittsburgh, where a dramatic encounter over stolen gas got bloody. In Pittsburgh, a showdown over stolen gas led to a viral video and another round of questions about police use of force. The drama unfolded on September 15th, 2018, when officers responded to a call about a man suspected of swiping gasoline. What are you up to, man? Huh? What are you up to today? You know who I am. I know, but what are you up to? Do me a favor, keep your hand out of your pocket. I'm trying to get out of Pittsburgh? Why are you, where are you trying to go? Keep your hand out of your pocket. Thanks. What are you, where are you coming from? Okay. Where are you headed to right now? The library. What's what's at the library? Attack somebody. Okay. You haven't been stealing people's gas or nothing? No. Okay. Somebody's gas is missing. They said they're wearing what you're wearing. Well, I've been here for that time. No, anything in the backpack I should be worried about? So you're gonna search me? I'm asking you. Is there anything in the backpack? Just my watch though. Steal gas? No. Can I check? Not looking for drugs or nothing. I just want to see if you're stealing gas or not. The officer on the scene got the 31 year old suspect who matched the description, and things quickly went south. I can't do that. Sorry, sir. Why not? Because I don't trust you. Job, what you have in your gun? Job, what you have in your gun? Unproperly subject, X1. Job, what you have in your hand, dude? Dude, job, what you have in your hand, dude? Uncooperative subject. Drop what you have in your hand. Dude, don't come up to me, dude. Don't come up to me, bro, or I'll shoot you. Drop it. Just drop it. The suspect, in what seemed like a move straight out of a dramatic movie, tossed a crowbar to the ground. The officers, perhaps deciding they were not in the mood for theatrics, demanded he comply. Hey, don't come up. Drop it. Drop it. Stop, stop. Stop right there. No, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Frank, get on the ground. Get on the ground, you're getting tanked. You have about two seconds for you to get tased. For what? Get on the ground. What do I do? Get on the ground. You said they're holding a weapon. I told you so. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. When he didn't, they decided to use what they call distraction punches to get him in handcuffs. The man, unsurprisingly, ended up with cuts and bruises and needed medical attention. He was then arrested for resisting arrest and a probation violation, adding legal troubles to his physical ones. Turn around this way, bro. No, I gotta search don't you, bro. No, no, I don't. Let's go to court. 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 Shoot my ass. Don't beat me up. They insisted the force used was reasonable, like a chef insisting raw chicken is perfectly safe to eat. The citizens' video of this encounter spread like wildfire on social media, prompting the police to release their own body cam footage. Hey, Fred, spell your last name. 
The story left many wondering if the suspect, despite his questionable actions, deserved the beatdown he got. The police claimed that they were just doing their job, but it felt more like an overzealous response to a petty crime. In our next story, body cam footage shows a disturbing incident of excessive force and hostile behavior against a handcuffed man. In an incident that took place in July of 2022, Officer Matthew Nutt was recorded on his body cam to be assaulting a handcuffed man. The victim, Terry Robinson, pleaded for medical assistance and apologized before being threatened with a taser. Nutt first requested for Terry to hand over his ID and driver's license when he initiated a traffic stop. Do you have a L's on you? Do you have a ID? Do you have a license? No, I got a license. All right, can I see your ID too? I'm just a passenger. No, I know, but I need to verify if you have a license so I can see if somebody can actually drive this thing. And I don't got no license. Later, Nutt could be seen approaching the car again and telling Terry to step out of the car. Both your hands on the back of your head, please. And then step out of face away from me. What's up, man? Hands on top of your head. What's going on, though? Hands on top of your head. Spread your feet. Hang on, hang on. You're just being detained. I'm good. The scene quickly took a sticky turn when Terry started to question the reason for the arrest, prompting the officer to do this. On this right here? No, so I'm be honest, man. You have, you have uh, two warrants on the Santa Cruz. Okay. No, no, that's not me. That's not me, bro. That's not me. You had a birth and everything. No, that's... Listen, listen, listen. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. No, let me tell you. Because, no. Listen. I went to, I went to court, right? I went to court. Okay, let's let's talk in the car, bud. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen, listen. No, I, I can't sit back there. Just let me. Come let on. Me I'm having a panic attack. Come on, bro. All right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, listen. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, listen. I'm having a panic attack. No, no, no. Stop. No, no. I'm having a panic attack. I'm having a panic attack. Terry's panicked cries escalated as he expressed his intention to return to the car, while Officer Nutt's demeanor grew increasingly hostile. All right, all right. Hey, stop resisting. All right, all right, I'm not resisting. All right, I'm going to get in the car. 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 All right, bro, I'm going to get in the car. I'm going to get in the car. Just let me up. I'm going to get in the car. Please. I'll, I'm going to have a panic attack. I'm going to have a panic attack. No, I'll be having panic attacks, bro. You need to relax. You're creating. Okay, stand up and get in the Hard. Okay, all right. I'm going to bring you down again. All right, okay. The all way right. I took you down now, I will all take right. you down again. All right. And harder. All right. Stand up. All right. Get in the f***ing car. All right. Is it unlocked? All right. Sit up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. The two officers gave out more commands, repeated with increasing intensity, causing further distress and struggle from Terry. Sit down. Okay. Sit down, bro. Can you take PT? Get in the car. Sit down. Right, right. You're going on your face. Do you right, understand right, me? Right, okay. Sit down. All right, all right, all right. Get in the car. Terry's distress heightened, and he requested medical assistance, prompting this insane reaction from the officers. I'm gonna have a panic attack. I need medical. 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 All right, 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 all right. All right. Sit down and put your fing feet in the car now. All right, okay, bro. All right, I'm getting in. No, I'm getting in. I'm getting in. Let me get up. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. Let me get up. Let me get up. I need medical. I'm getting in. Let me get in by myself. Let me get in by myself. Get in. The situation then started to calm down, with not expressing irritation as the reason for his reaction. 
Yeah. Okay. I was on the other side trying to climb in and go. Following the incident, Officer Matthew Nutt faced assault charges where he was alleged to have used excessive force. Nutt, who was fired in April of 2023, was accused of punching, kicking, and using knee and elbow strikes on a suspect who had been resisting arrest. Maybe save the elbows and knees for your MMA audition. <laughs> 